Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and we are about to check out the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer for the first time. I am stoked. My hype level is through the roof on this thing. I'm a big Spidey fan and you know especially with my family and I meeting Zendaya this past summer. I'm just you know over here now because uh, she was great and let's just let's just play. Let's just get this going. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Wow. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop. Come on. <laughs> yes, my spider lord. <laughs> Can we just, like, stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. That's right, folks. Spider-Man is, in fact, Peter Parker. Wow. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The drones that are yours. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everybody knows you don't really have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. Then how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. They're going deep. So, Peter. Oh. What do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Stephen. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. <laughs> when Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Strange. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. That's good. Oh. The entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned. He's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really know. Stop talking. Dude. We tampered with the stability of space time. This yeah, multiverse is a concept about which we know. Oh my god. The problem is you trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. <laughs> oh my oh my god. You wish for a Parker. Dang. Hello, Peter. Oh, wow. I'm not going to lift up my legs, but I've got chills all over. Goosebumps running everywhere, dude. December 17th. My goodness. Okay, okay. Oh. What's the what's the best shot of the trailer? I don't know. Okay, we could pause on this. That's good. That was an awesome trailer. Like I am stoked. Um, Doctor Strange being in there, helping out Spidey. They really went, you know, that route after Mysterio announced to the world that Spider-Man is Peter Parker. That's like that's a deep way to start off the next movie that's not taking the easy way out or anything like that they could have started off the movie as a gosh i don't know it was a it was a fake really quickly find a way how to have peter parker and spider-man be in two different places at the same time and no that was not true deny it you know work with some form of the avengers to clear his name no they're continuing with this peter parker's world is thrown through a loop and that's pretty wild i wonder just how long this takes place after the last film you know with is it within a couple of month time span or what but this is obviously um post snap as the last one was post snap too dr strange opening up the multiverse we're going to get characters we knew about this before that you know we're gonna have Doc Ock come in and possibly some 
extras like uh could they be just hiding toby mcguire and andrew garfield really really well this whole time you know my thought in avengers i think it was in in infinity war was how cool would they be, how cool would it be if they went big like as spider-man's before we knew too much of it just that it's going to be this movie called you know avengers infinity war um how cool would it be if they're all fighting through the city, New York, different places and stuff like that? And they just had a, a moment where our Tom Holland Spider-Man is flying through and just out comes from a portal whoosh, another Spider-Man and takes off this mask. Where am I? And it's Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield and po pops it back in. Or maybe it's a little bit longer than that. Like that would be kind of cool. But if they actually have them in this film as more than a cameo, but full-on characters, and we've got two or three Spider-Man, you know, from different eras teaming up, that would be wild. I mean, Into the Spider-Verse, with, you know, it being pretty much Miles Morales' story, that was terrific. Uh, I'm not saying just copy and paste that, which this definitely isn't, but, you know, having a few Spider-Man characters as the lead role, you know, or, you know, secondary to... Tom Holland, that would be great. But that was my thought. I remember talking with different friends, like, uh, how cool would it be if they introduced them or as Rubble fell and, you know, Andrew Garfield came out of the way. I'm like, should I suit up? And, you know, at the time when he was still alive, uh, Stanley would say, no, nah, come on, kid. Let's, let's go elsewhere. They've got it. You know, something cool like that. Obviously, uh, that's not going to exactly take place in this movie. Um, for a few different reasons, you know, Stanley has passed away since, but of course, Andrew and Toby being in the film is a possibility. That's just speculation on my part. Um, I don't know. Should we watch that one more time? I guess we can watch it one more time. Yeah, let's let's go for it. Let's go for it. I'm excited. Let's go for it. I hope they go wild with this. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hit I'll talk a little females. bit this time. Stop. Come on. Over it. And then I'll probably watch it again on my own. Can we just, like, stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. That's right, folks. I'm liking J. Jonah and Jameson. You know. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The drones that are yours. Does any part of you feel relieved about this movie? movie? And I think the next Doctor Strange are really going to set up knows, the really possibilities die, of. I think that how they're going to bring the, the X Men in because like, X Men is a franchise that, unlike Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four you now could make goes. those characters exist starting now. This is hurting a lot. Because of different events going on I've just been thinking about in the universe this. on this Earth, thanks to Infinity War, thanks to Endgame, thanks to so possibly Peter. this movie's. What do I owe the pleasure? I'm you sorry. You know, this one on Doctor Strange, that Please, is. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Scientists okay. go into space. They come back as the Fantastic Four because they that had a check it out well, well, and it. whatnot. Like, it Might makes sense. Mysterio reveal my identity? My it's time. a younger screwed up. squad of heroes. I was but maybe has such so deep roots with mutants Strange. going Don't back cast that many, many, many years. It's too dangerous. Apocalypse. You know, back 7,000 years ago in Egyptian times. How does Wolverine and Magneto and Charles Xavier exist like in this knew. world? Where has Logan been all Can't this time? How did they not know Lord. about? So MJ's going to forget about everything we've ever been through. Stop tampering with the spell. All oh these God, different Ned. things that went friend. on when the shield was around. How did Nick Fury never meet up with? Charles Xavier or Logan, right? Because some of those characters are older, we tap with and mutants would have been known and exposed. Multiverse is a concept about which we know. Now, how do you use these movies because of all this multiverse stuff as the problem a way you to start to two different lives. this mutant gene existing in people? The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. Off fresh. Now, that's fine. <laughs> But you also lose out on a lot of the history of Be deep careful X -Men what you wish you know? for, Parker. But if this whole diversity stuff opens up other Earths 
and Earth's kind of melded together. Hello, Peter. You could have an existing team and start it off fresh and a reboot and still have it work in a way where they existed and they did their thing their whole lives on their own Earth, but we're seeing them integrated into this movie now and they could do a little bit of a back and forth of giving us this series of X-Men's classic stories and then now how they're integrated into this new MCU Marvel world. Could they even pay tribute in some way to the Fox X-Men of you know the last 20 years because there are a lot of good films in that franchise? Uh, possibly, you know, it could be a multiverse thing. They could do a lot. Anyways, uh, that was a really cool trailer. And like I said, I talked over it this time because I wanted to use that time to look at it a little bit, but also, you know, go on and talk about some speculation slash potential uh, hype stuff. Uh, I'm just excited about all of this stuff. Um, let me know what you thought. That was really cool. It was worth the wait. And I'm pumped up this December. Let's get that date one more time. 17. Uh, that's less than four months away. Cool. This is Paul Gill Network signing out. Thanks for watching with me. Let me know what you thought. I'm stoked. Take it easy. Bye.